far so good. I've got a clean visual. A direct feed to your optic now. <laughs> yes, I should hope so, huh? I mean, how does it feel? To fly like a bird. Like a bird strapped to a remote control rocket. <laughs> we will get you in safely, Tovarich. Just relax and enjoy the ride. Right. Can you hear me, Raikou? Doctor. Remember the two procedures to maintain your new body. One, seizing nano repair units from your foes. And two, absorbing their electrolytes. I got it. Yes, enemy cyborgs should provide plenty of MCFC electrolytes once you slice them open and uh, extract their fluids. They're terrorists. I was planning on that anyway. Oh, and their left hands, if you please. Excuse me. The combat data stored on holographic memory, typically located in the left hand. That data is very valuable. <clears throat> I am authorized to offer you upgrades and services in exchange for it. How generous. Ich liebe Kapitalismus. Had the world come down a few years earlier, I would have a Nobel Prize on my shelf. There, I see land. Three lights out, closing. No activity at the airbase. Looks like we don't need to worry about interceptors. Great. Then we have time for a quick brief. I know you miss me, Kev, but I've been all over the materials. <laughs> That's what you said before Montenegro. Look, just humor me, buddy. Objectives, of course, are enter Abkhazia, neutralize the terrorists, and restore the rightful government, or what's left of it anyway. The president and most of the cabinet have been killed, and a military junta's been established. The terrorists brain-jacked all the high-ranking officers, and their cyborgs scattered the rank and file. The few leaders who have survived have no way of openly opposing the new regime. That's why they called us. Andrei Dolsev, leader of the occupation forces. An extremist linked to both the St. Petersburg massacre of 2015 and last year's terror spree in Georgia. And his arms supplier? None other than Desperado Enforcement, LLC. Oh. Imani's killers. If we don't stop them here, they could destabilize the entire region. But our more immediate problem is Jetstream Sand. I believe you've met. <sighs> The only problem I see is that nickname. I've got my enhancements this time. He won't be an issue. He may not even be in country, but keep an eye out, Justin. No. Oh. Uh, sorry. Ready for insertion. You landed safely, duh? First, head inland. The waypoint is marked on your Soliton radar. Contact us on Codec if you have questions. Alright. Now then, now that we got all that long super cutscene out of the way, let us begin. First and foremost, there's a cat over here. Try to go ahead and attack it. It'll dodge, no matter what. A few of the cats are located uh, around in the game, and uh, yeah, they'll, they'll interact with thing. Alright, so, we were able to go into our codex, uh, we can talk to our contacts, being Boris, Kevin, Courtney, and Doctor. They'll offer you some various, uh, insight onto your mission and what to do, really. Uh, you can go into VR missions, which are, like, bonus, like, side missions to do. And we can customize. Going into customize will put you into the last checkpoint you reached, uh, such as being the start of the level for us. Alright, and within here, you are able to spend your battle points, or BP, I think that's what it stands for, into new customizations, such as some cosmetic bodies being your original look. Look for Grey Fox, which is really nice. And then some just different colors for you, so you can go, like, Commando, White, Inferno, it's really nice. Uh, you can 
customize your weapon, the high frequency blade, as well as you can purchase Fox's blade. I don't really know if it has any... It's got a special effect, as far as I'm aware, with that little note there. Uh, you're, by pressing X, you're able to go into upgrading it, um, able to up, up the strength, up the absorption, which we'll go into later, as well as the energy, which we will also go into later. And we can also go into life. These are practically heart containers. You purchase these, you get an extra bit of life. Same with the fuel cells. Again, we'll go into a bit later, but this will basically increase your, say, magic, to say the least. And skills. These are probably the most important things you're going to be purchasing because they will enhance your combat capabilities. Now then, this is a take two because I did kind of fuck up once in the recording. Um, however, I did purchase the aerial parry, which will just allow you to parry in midair. It's a very handy technique. Uh, you can also purchase defensive offense, which is a striking move that... Uh, uh, what's it called? Raiden freely sidestep enemy attacks in any direction and effectively counter their aggression. Basically, you sidestep an enemy. It's like a combat dodge in one way or another. You dodge an enemy attack and you take no damage from it. Sky High, which is a knock-up move. Sweet Kick, which is... Um, I don't know what this one is. This one is another... I think it's a combat. I don't know. I don't remember these. We'll be remembering them once we purchase them, but I'm going to be purchasing def defense offense since I actually have some leftover... BP from last time. So yeah, if you like exit a mission, you keep all the BP, which is kind of annoying, but eh, what can you do? Alright. So yeah, defensive offense is A and X. It allows you to do a little dodge, no matter or in any direction. So it's pretty handy. Uh, handy if you just want to dodge some enemy attacks that are more or less unblockable. I'll be getting into that sooner or later, but let us begin with our combat. All right, now actually get into combat proper. There we go. <laughs> Not really the best of <laughs> battle to start out with, but hey, what can you do? Had your fill? With this body, I could take these guys with no eyes. Intel wasn't exaggerating on the cyborg count. Well, you know how fast the tech's been spreading these last few years. That CNT muscle fiber packs the power of a jackhammer into every limb. What enterprising soldier of fortune could resist? And cyborgs are still human. Real thinking people. Way less risk of collateral damage than your typical UAV strike. And don't forget the PR angle. Nations start playing Frankenstein with their troops, and the public goes nuts. PMCs, on the other hand, are off the ethical radar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They still don't even count PMCs in official death tolls. With SOP out of the picture, private militaries needed a new edge on the market. We got it. In a way, cyborgs are just SOP troops by another name. Only all muscled up and less predictable. But it makes you wonder, where'd Desperado find these guys? I'm not complaining. They're like walking vending machines. Right. Vending machines full of blood. <sighs> Easy there, Dracula. Like I said, they're still people. People who terrorize and take innocent lives for money. They sowed their fate when they took this job. I'm just the Reaper. Damn. It's a bit cold, Raiden. Even for you. Anyway, uh, his school. Let's get to work. Time to increase the peace. Right. Come on, give me that S rank. There it is. Very nice. Now then, I should probably go into detail as to what you do in combat. Now then, you can do a counterattack, which uh, in doing so will have to make you tap the control stick in the direction of the enemy that's attacking and press X right when they're about to strike. If you do that, you'll be able to counteract. Most attacks will allow you to counteract or counterattack to them. So that's a handy thing there. 
And once you hit an enemy hard enough, uh, a flash will appear, being a little blue flash that will indicate you to activate blade mode. Uh, doing so will enable you to see their vital points. I'm trying to explain something here, Boris. Uh, if you strike that weak point, you'll be able to grab their electrolytes, or whatever it's called, and pull it out, extract it, that will fully recover your HP and your FC. Should probably just keep going, because I'm wasting a lot of time just standing here. Riders, this is Boris. Give me your status. Looks clear. No one in sight. Good. Let's recap the route you will take. As I said, the enemy's HQ is in the refinery along the coastline. Dolsayev has been spotted there using satellite photography. Also on site, Mistral, a desperado captain. So I go through the city, cross the bridge into the old town, then head down to the rear of the refinery. Still, I think they anticipate us. They will probably have a grand reception awaiting you at the old city. Do not let your guard down. All right, first things first. This right here is an item box. Go ahead and slice this open. Get yourself some upgrades or some goodies, such as the repair nano paste. Now you can go into the sub menu of left or right on the D pad, and you can go ahead and equip this. Uh, doing so will do a little indication on the below your health. Uh, go ahead and activate that by pressing left bumper. So that's pretty helpful there. Now, did it actually get collected? Oh, it did. That's unfortunate. All right, so. <laughs> Guess I better do this all in one take or else I'm going to be looking like an idiot. So on that chandelier was a data file thing. I don't remember what it was called exactly, but yeah, it had something that was a goodie and you can collect it. I don't know what else it did, but yeah, it was just on that chandelier. I'm looking like a real idiot now. All right. Hostiles in the lower corridor, I see. Try to flank them or approach from behind. So yes, if you're undetected and out of combat, you are able to perform... A stealth action, <laughs> thus enabling you to basically instantly kill enemies. And there we go. All right, now you can. Oh, now then, you might be realizing that it's uh, fully charged in blue with our FC bar. Uh, if it is fully charged in blue, then you are able to maintain that blade form where you can actually strike the vitals. If you if it's not full, then you just go in the free form blade mode like it was in the prologue. However, you can't just refill it by hitting the, you know, thingies and whatnot. So, yeah. Raiden, take that main thoroughfare. You can use augment mode to see where the enemy is located. Your body analyzes radar and IR data to construct your AR display. Huh. Some civilians are still in the city. That is not good. All right. So, yes, with pressing up on the D-pad, we're able to toggle our AR display. This will display cuttable objects, uh, chests, as well as enemies, and some other goodies here and there. And speaking of item box, go ahead and slice this open. Grab ourselves a frag grenade, which is pretty handy if you want to deal some AoE damage without your blade. Now then, the way that we're able to get that civilian out of here without any harm is to simply just go over here and take care of this guy. And slice. You are able to just enter blade mode normally if you're not in combat and you'll have the same effect. However, I prefer to do things the direct approach such as this there we go get you out of here there we go all right and now we'll wait for these guys to come for us hello that's you down And that's you down as well. All right. There we have it. Should be all the enemies here, I believe. If you do kill all the enemies in the area, you will get a ranking. But there are a few guys over there as well. Let's see if we can... Oh, they killed the guy. That is unfortunate. Oh. Oh, well. <laughs> okay, I think if you save civilians, they give you goodies. I'm not too sure on that. But I think that's what happens. But, yeah. All right, let's continue on. This right here is a Metal Gear Gecko. Go ahead and just take care of these guys real quick. These guys are more or less of a far, far stronger enemies. 
And we'll actually need more, you know, um, effort to kill them. But, like usual, it's just hack and slash most of the time. Damn it. Not really focused on the other guys here. Go ahead and grab you. Crush. All right. Come on, you. Okay, you are getting on my nerves, sir. Get out of here. Nope. Out of here. There we go. All right. Now to focus on you. Ow! Son of a bitch! Get out of here. Okay, well that was unprofessional in every way whatsoever. That's not, yeah, it's an A rank. Oh well. Alright, so another thing. Now, keep for if you see, if you strike an enemy hard enough and they don't, like, the blue flame doesn't flash immediately and their body starts to flash, that means you are able to slice off that part of their body. Doing so will, uh, he helpfully. Increase your chances of... Actually, hang on. Just equip that. There we go. Did that equip it? No, it didn't. There we go. Hold equip. Yeah, well, I know I know how to do it. And then we just press right trigger. That throws the grenade. There we go. And that's that. Okay. Anything else in the area? There is. Now, the AR thing only is activated when you... Oh, hello, RPG. <laughs> You can only activate the IR display while you're just walking around normally. You can't do it while you're running, which is kind of unfortunate. And grab some repair nano paste. We got some more enemies for us to kill here, and we've been spotted. Oh, these guys are for fuck's sake! All right, this is going great so far. <laughs> you. Come on. Yeah, you're... Crush you. Okay. I'm take care of you. This gecko is not making anything easier. Oh, God. Oh, there's two of them. Okay, well, that's somewhat of a problem, but it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Oh, shit. There we go. No, shit. Damn it. Nah, I'm down here. Okay. Okay, sometimes when you counteract an enemy attack uh, in a certain way or another, they ow, they will become exposed and you're able to press Y and B, I think it was, in order to pretty much instantly kill them. Oh my god, this is not going well at all. There we go. Okay, that's it. And grab you. Full restore. Okay. God, these guys are really making it hard to kill this thing. Thankfully, my encoder hasn't fucked up yet. That was actually the issue of the last recording. Nope, get back here. Oh, for fuck's sake. God damn it, what am I doing? There we go. And I missed the thing. Okay, well, this is just really dumb. You are a pain in the ass. Get out of my face. Come on, come on, come on. There we are. Pull out of nothing, but still works. Okay, is that everybody? Everybody dead? Hello? Wait, somebody's still here, isn't there? There's gotta be somebody still here. Is this guy? Wait, what is over here? Wait, no, that's just a uh, propaganda. Uh, rocket launcher. There's an item box over here as well. Let's get, let's slice this open. They have 
create an electromagnetic barricade. Ah. Maybe expecting UG or cyborg attacks, huh? Well, that explains that. Go ahead and fiddle with this. Right and wait. We're picking up a wireless transmission near your position. Uh, from the frequency, most likely an enemy data terminal. Check it out. We may be able to salvage some intel. So yeah, scattered throughout the levels, you can find these um, enemy data intel. I think this will grab you some, like, cosmetic stuff, or unlock VR missions. Okay, well that explains that. New VR mission added. You can play this mission by pressing back and selecting VR missions from the codec screen. I'm not going to be doing that because that will take me out of the game. Go away, combat manual thing. Okay. Um, I think something big is going to happen. I think I'm going to save that for the next episode because we have been going on for quite a while at the moment. And I'm not going to be risking my encoder fucking up. So, next time on Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, uh, we're going to be heading forward. Seeing if we can find out if we can find Dulcaev or whatever his name was. See you guys next time.